what's approaching the supreme moment reality striking closer than it seems don't it go ahead it's for the taking if you hey what's going on so i realized i didn't uh do a video on this uh, physical super saiyan 3 goku yet so I figured I'd uh, do a quick video on him since uh, Kane had set him as a leader and I just came across it and figured I'd just do a quick run on it. Um, he does have the ability for uh, supreme damage to enemies and also raises attacks uh, for allies up to 20% for one turn. Now he does have the Shadow Dragon Saga category uh, which has plus two key and HP attack of 50% so we'll uh, benefit from that leader skill for this video. Um, he's also a decent support unit. He'll add plus two key and 25% to attack for tech and physical types. Um, he's got, looks to be like uh, level 11 for additional attack and level 15 for a critical. So hopefully we'll see some, uh, you know, critical hits activate here. But, you know, as always, definitely make sure to like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. All right, let's see how he does. I'm in boss rush three with a Super Saiyan uh, 3 category team. So he'll be getting the 170% boost to attack from the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. And Vegeta's gonna have uh, much better defense, so he's not gonna put out quite as high numbers here, but uh, you know, regardless, let's see what kind of numbers we're looking at. Uh, looks to be about 433K, and then you know, with the damage reduction, you're looking at about 205,000, so not too bad. We'll see how it'll do against a uh, weaker type enemy here. Looks like it is a tech type, and uh, I'm expecting a little bit more in damage, especially if the criticals uh, activate here. So let's find out. And I know there's been a lot of stuff coming out on you know the news for both JP and Global, so I'll talk a little bit about that later on today. All right, so about 819,000 with the critical, so definitely a decent output. Let's see how this Goku does against uh, type advantage with uh, Cooler here. And he's benefiting from the 33% uh, 33, 33 boost from Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the strength type, so it uh, does help out a little bit. Now let's see how he does. And again, you know, um, I have him at SA level 10 on my deck, in my deck, and I haven't really tested him out on a double lead Super Saiyan 3 category team, but you know, I mean, 739 with, with the circumstances, I mean, that's that's actually pretty good output. All right, let's keep going against uh, Goku here, the angel type. So it'll be a neutral enemy, and, uh, you know, depending on uh, criticals or um, additional hits, uh, we'll, we'll have to see what kind of damage we're looking at. But, you know, traditionally, he's more or less um, used to raise the SA for either... Um, you know, like physical Super Saiyan 2 Goku or even the agility Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I mean, he's predominantly meant for that, but I mean, if you want to max him out, I mean, this is kind of the damage we're looking at. I mean, 704,000 with uh, criticals, I mean, that, that ain't too bad. Okay, let's see how he does against a, uh, another neutral type enemy. And, um, I should have got his uh, the team HP less than 80%. That way, Bardock would have provided an additional 40% toward attack, but, you know, it's whatever. All right, it looks to be on average about 433,000 with all the, the link skills, so he's hitting for about 500,000 with criticals, so... Yeah, I mean, that's definitely a decent output, for sure. We're on to the uh, Kid Buu battle, so this is going to be against the Super Buu. Unfortunately, it's a, it's a neutral type, but later on it'll be the, you know, intelligence type uh, Kid Buu, so we'll see some uh, type advantage there. And I don't mean to keep uh, showing you guys the uh, Super Saint 3 Vegeta, but it just, um, <laughs> I don't know, placement-wise, he just seems to, you know, be first especially because he's that he's got that uh damage reduction ability of i think 80 percent so all right let's see so yeah with the critical uh that time is about 536,000 in damage i mean this guy isn't too bad to include on a super saiyan 3 category team if um you know you're lacking a proper deck for it um you know he might not be a bad substitute compared to you know the 
the other leads in the in the game or whatnot. But I mean, he, overall, he's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a damage reduction item because this boo will continuously do supers, um, and also gonna boost him up by 25%. Just to kind of raise his attack a little bit. Just you know, since he is in Doka mode, um, let's just go ahead and, and boost him up a little bit. And he'll be, uh, get, he, he's getting the 33% uh, boost from uh, the Strength Goku also. So, uh, let's see how he does. I mean, he's, I think the highest I've seen so far is about 800,000. So, Dokkan Mode should, yeah. So, Dokkan Mode, he's hitting for about 1.5 million. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad I used the item there. All right, let's uh, finish this up with the type advantage against the intelligence type kid boo here. Yeah, I mean this guy is actually pretty decent. Uh, like I said, he's he's. A nice little substitute for the Super Saiyan 3 category team if you're fortunate enough to have uh, the you know intelligence particle lead but um, yeah I mean 580,000 without critical um, is definitely not bad at all um, and his defense isn't too bad either he took about 45k but overall not too bad